Alright, welcome back to part 3. Once again, I'm going to be finishing this in 3 parts. So we're just going to wrap up Who Out Gate here. So, first of all, we got to take care of Nehru, who appeared. Alright, good, some health. Just what I need. I wonder if I can ping him with a shot. Nope. Not this time. We don't have to worry about the Assault Captain now. He's done his job, so we can just leave him to his own devices or whatever. Wait, we, however, I do want to take off right now. Bam! He's out of there. Good riddance to him. Prepare to meet your destiny. And here's the lovely D.O. Charm. Bit of hotness there. We're going to ignore her for the time being, though, and head straight up to the top of the gates. Because we want to deal with... We want to get our power up. Again. And I think there's a couple of archers. Then there is! So let's deal with them right now. Thank you for that. I'm just gonna deal with you and squash you. I can't. I can't mention enough. Archers, deal with them. Can't really just cut a path for these troops because, as you know, Dong Zhou has three gates. So we need to cut off his gate captains first. I wonder if we can. No, of course not. I was going to go shoulder barge on them. Oh, what do you know? I did anyway. <laughs> Bam! Get me away. Ugh, 200 defeated! Yes! I think that's all the archers dealt with. As you can see, more and more are coming up. Get off me, dude. So there's our life up. A bit more life. That's two maps in a row we've got the life up bonus. There's probably a lot more locations for them, but I never know where they all are. I only know the one at Yelturn Rebellion, as well as the ones here, because it's kind of easy-ish. So now we need to go take care of the gates, especially since we have double attack power. Try to bugger that. Not successful. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I not want you to touch me right now. Right. Come here, gate captain. Wait before the attack was off. Bam. Down he goes. Squash them quickly. No luck. Come on, deal with him. Oh, he's not breaking his guard at all. Nah, not for much longer though. Dealt with. Okay. Right, that's one gate captain eliminated. I love that shoulder barge though. It's kind of an awkward attack if you want to be precise, but just for barging into an enemy. Oh, bam! Oh. Screw you! You ruined my fun, dude. Looks like D.L. Chum wants to get in my way. I'd like to deal with her a bit later, actually. I want to take care of these gates first, and so we cut off the supply to Dong Zhuo. And of course, we will deal with D.L. Chum as well. I'm not going to let the pretty lady go by unbashed in the head a couple of times. Whack! So basically squashing the shoulders. Gate captain is going down. You know, you've seen this in the last mission, so you know what to do. You know the drill here. So we're doing it with Hungai, and we've done a lot more this time around. 250 defeated. Get out of the way, God. Right. Now. I wonder if I can snipe the third gate captain out of existence. I wonder if I can deal with this annoying guy who thinks he wants to stab me in the back. Pests. As you can see, these, this is also a good place to rack up a lot of kills if you need to. So I'm going to try and snipe the gate captain. Looks like I got the shot off. Oh, yes, I did. Even though I got hit on the way. Just need to get enough time to get a clear shot at him. And this is a good way of taking care of these kind of guys. You want to be pinging them with arrows. That way we don't invoke Dong Zhuo's fury. Which we don't want to do just yet. We kind of want to save him for afterwards. After we've taken care of his... Daughter. Now, oh, now there's a lot of them in the way. That's good though. We can fall. That's good. He's been lured out, and he's out of there. Goodbye. Kill them all. <laughs> we meet again, Don Juo. And just like last time, you're going to lose horribly. But first, a small matter of your daughter. Where the hell is she? Ah, there she is. Holding her own. 
She's a feisty one, that Dio Chan, but unfortunately, her time is up. Once again, her great plan is going to fail. Thanks to my double attack power. Father, please forgive me. Now, you're probably wondering when she says that, does she mean Dong Zhuo as a father? Actually, no. And I'm not going to tell you why. I let later games explain that, but basically, as I said, the story of Dio Chan is a lot more complicated than you think. Dong Zhuo, his, her adopted, is not really a father as such. It's kind of a long story, but basically, Dong Zhuo kind of took in Dio Chan and Wubu with his adopted son and daughter. They used to have, they used to have a family, they came from elsewhere. But he adopted them though. And of course this leads to a lot of conflict, as you do. But it's 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 a it requires a bit of explanation, and I'm not entirely sure of all the details because they go into more detail with that relationship in later Dynasty games. So if you want the full story, just go like read the war or play a later Dynasty game. Because Dynasty Warriors 3 doesn't really go into it that much. Just a tiny bit maybe with the Extreme Legends expansion. Might explain it a bit better, but no dice here. And again, we need to be careful because Dung has got a lot of HP. He's quite tough. He doesn't quite have the same attack power as Nubu, but he's, you know, he's the guardian and we don't have that much strength. And he's tough, so. We'll try and pound him. He's going to block it for the most part. And we'll just get a few. Oh, he actually blocked. I have to use a few other strategies. Ah, the camera keeps turning on me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to ping him with arrows. Just might as well use the bow attack for summit. <laughs> Just a bit of damage to him, but not that much. Oh, his guards again! Wowzy, stinking guards! And of course, he has guards who are equally as tough. So maybe we should deal with them first. Ouch! God damn his music. Well, now for mine, Dong Zhuo. I think we should focus on his guards, really. It might be a good idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Piss off, dude. Don't want to risk it now. Why do we have to go all the way back to Wubu again? Gonna play it safe. Maybe fire a few more arrows at his guards or something might help. We can draw out his guards as well. There we go. We can kill off his guards, we should be able to ice win him fairly comfortably. Oh, you wanna be distracting me, do you? Get out of my way! Ah, we've isolated one up here, that will do. Bam! Take that! It's not that his guards are tough, they just have a lot of health. <laughs> For the most part. They're no more different from, say, the mages in terms of what they can do, but, you know, he's got a lot of them, so... I'm gonna try and fire a few arrows, but too many bodies in the way now. So we're gonna... Tr and we can just pound them with arrows up here. And it's a good thing we have a push 29 bow attack weapon at this point. So again... I think I'll go for Dumb Joe this time. My super music attack, why not? Bam! Take that. We gotta be careful though, because he can hit quite out of his Muzu. He's not a, no slouch, Dong Zhuo, obviously. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got our opening. Time to burn, big man. Burn. Oh wow, he's actually not dead. Now he is. No, no, my plan it is all ruined now. Excellent. And that concludes the mission. Strike a pose, Hoon Guy. Yeah, Sai Hoon didn't have a better pose. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright, review of the mission we just beat. Pretty simple start. Cleared out the gate for Wu, took out Fan Shu from behind. Wan Shu was defeated by Lu Bu. Took out that gate captain. Thankfully, that proved useful. Went round to help Shu for a change. Took out a gate captain over there. Took out Zhu Rong and the gate captain near him. Snuck around the back. 
with Shu. Hui Zhuang was defeated with one shoulder barge. And then we took on the enviable task of defeating Lu Bu. You can see it took about two minutes, it wasn't an easy task. He was defeated. Then we chased after the supply captain, who luckily stopped here. Got the cool item, which we'll be using a lot. Took out Li Ju and Gu Zi pretty quickly this time, not as much fuss. A bit more experience now. Better items, items high also help, of course. West game prodded in the back by some of the critters. Then we took down Hu Ao Gate pretty easily. Snuck around DL Chan. Got the power up, took out one gate captain, then the second one, then the third one. And after a little bit of resistance, mostly due to our low health and his high HP, Dong Zhou took a while, but eventually he fell. 36 minutes in. And. Ah. ah yes! Our tier 2 weapon, the steel rod. Side. Let's see. Henson jump. Yeah, I'll pick that one. Whatever. We got our next weapon, so you'll be able to see his fourth combo. Ooh, mounted attack. It could be useful in certain situations, but not that useful either, to be honest. And here it is. This is what we got Wubu defeated to acquire. The Red Her Saddle. This item is fucking one of the best in the game. Now, it gives you Wu Bu's horse, basically. You can start riding Wu Bu's horse. You don't even have to be max rank, you can just ride it. This is the fastest horse in the game, the Red Hair. It's very useful for getting around the battlefield quickly. We're going to be using this an awful lot from now on. And that's obviously inferior. Ooh, Muzu Max. It's a new item, could be useful, but needs powering up a bit, I think. So we got two new items and one legendary Burr item. And we took out a lot of officers. Wow. Took out 13. As a result, 5.6k in bonus. No negative bonus this time. Maybe defeating Wu Bu helps. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see how that equates to our character development. Yep, class and sergeants. Good, good. Class 11, nice. Bit more defense for the bodyguards. Another class up for us. Gives a bit more sort of general toughness across the board. So there we go. And yes, we will save, I think. Alright, let's save here. Let's see what we get next. Ah, brand new mission. About times. But we'll see more of that next time. Our first proper sort of woo mission. Alright, so. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you enjoyed me kicking Woo Boo's ass for all eternity. And I will catch you all next time. And we will handle the surprise attack at Nubiao. And finally, we do our first woo mission with Hungai. Catch you next time, and remember to leave comments below.